guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting going to episode 9 of Are You Really the Only One Who Likes Me? So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. The fact that he's the one to get her the damn bug. Oh my god. It's so sweet. He's so fucking sweet. Oh my god, I love him. <laughs> Even though still she said no, I don't want it. I mean yes, like I, I would probably say the same thing too. You know, like it's already been used up. There's no reason for you to give me another one. Like mm. But no. At the same time, they're like, no, fuck it, give me another one. <laughs> How you probably have enough money now to just go ahead and buy pens in your book. Oh. Yeah, here she comes. <laughs> Oh, that is such a lie. <laughs> wow. Well, can you blame her?
plus you can put it on top or like that. It was on purpose. Oh, Did you have something to do with that bungee? <laughs> nice job, ass. Congratulations.
thing. Okay. Can we just talk about how cute you are? Oh my god. Well, I have a feeling you two are definitely going to see each other again. Yeah, I apologize for being an asshole. Yeah, and please don't trip and spill anything on people again. We don't want that. And let me guess, Himari, right? <laughs> it had to be her. Who else knew about the dang book besides her? <laughs> Mm-hmm. Got the book for you.
Don't be mad at her. Mm -hmm. Don't be mad. Jodo. She was only being nice. You know, you could just give her your money that you made so she can buy the racket. Because you're her friend. See, now you made her cry. Better take that damn book. <laughs> now give her your paycheck. I mean, wouldn't that be nice? I mean, yeah, I know that's your damn money.
Awesome. <laughs> you know, it would have been interesting if <laughs> I still didn't make an appearance, but I had a little weird feeling about it. But uh, this is such a good episode. I'm glad that, you know, he took his paycheck money because, of course, what else was he going to do? And bought her the bracket. I mean, still, yes, he had a right to really be mad at Hiyari for getting the book because he wanted to use his own money to buy the book for Pansy. I mean, if you've ever, like, had a group of friends and you were so passionate about a book or something that you specifically want for someone else and you do everything that you can to get it and then someone comes in like, oh, hey, look, I got it for you because you were feeling down about the book and such, but, uh, he might, like, so for a moment, she caused a little bit more drama, and just be like, oh my god, you poor child, like, the fact that he made her cry, that was so messed up, like, god dang, bruh, like, are you serious, she's so precious, you don't want to make her cry, she's too freaking cute, you have to love her, and you made her fucking cry, like, oh my god, but still, Getting the racket for her birthday was fucking sweet. And then him realizing that, yes, he's not just a background character. He's still a main character, though. I mean, because it's in his POV for the entire freaking series. And even with the fact that, like, he read the book. And so that Pansy will always have someone to help. Like, whenever he's not busy. Like, oh my god. That better happen in the next fucking episode, I swear to god. And that elephant thing is there again. So I, I got a weird feeling that something's gonna... <laughs> Dick's gonna come out quickly again. <laughs> but it was really good. Really heartwarming. A little tense. Especially with Pansy and Dodo's like first conversation. Because I mean he was being. For almost like the first. Not even the first half. The, almost the whole episode. He was being an asshole. And I'm like. You know I've always been on his side. For everything that he's truly done. But like not only making Pansy upset. Thank god she ain't cry. But Himawari and making her cry, like, I was like, you know what, that's the final straw, but like, this boy, I just want to kick his ass, but like, you just made this cute, adorable child cry, what is wrong with you? You never want to make a girl cry, like, come on, damn it, like, that's so mean, and then if you break up with a girl, you're gonna be known as the guy who made her cry, like, do you want to be known like that? I mean, thank God they get in a relationship and such, but... I mean, there are times where I sit here and think, especially with the fact that between the Flower Dance episode and this episode, especially with the fact that Timari has now asked him twice, like, is there a girl you like? And he said no both times. But we all know you like Pansy. <laughs> we all know that. But, I mean, he's just keeping that to himself, you know, deep, deep, deep deep down inside of himself. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to future episode 9. <laughs> Why is it a special episode? That's weird. Episode 9. <laughs> Are you really the only one who likes me? If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode 10. Bye, guys. <laughs>